up, guys, gals, and non-binary pals? My name's Naomi. Welcome to House of Miscellanea. You're joining me for the first time. Welcome, welcome. If you are coming back, thank you for coming back. Today, we are going to take an early look at Moon Eater from Diamond Art Club. Ooh, luscious square diamonds. A Yume Art. This released a short while ago from the filming of this particular episode of An Early Look, and it is gorgeous. I want to get inside of it and see what it looks like. So let me struggle with this box for just a moment. All right, I've done the early cutting stuff so that you didn't have to listen to me struggling there, but now you get to watch me struggle with a box. So, I am super excited to see this piece. I have not yet looked at it, as you can see. We've got our toolkit and sticker, along with our branded Diamond Art Club dust cover. Loving that, loving that. First things first here, we've got our sticker. This is going to show us a little bit about the um, artwork that is inside of our dust cover there on the canvas. Some people use these on the sides of their boxes to show them what's in the box. Some people use it for their journals, or there could be other crafty uses that you find for it, but we've got a sticker and our toolkit. Every single Diamond Art Club painting comes with a very, very plush toolkit full of all kinds of goodies. They are going to be making some changes to the toolkit, as I understand, but we won't see what those are for a little while. Until then, we will enjoy what they have until they run out. So let's see what we've got here. Is this everything? Let me make sure. You don't have to tear the tops. They come open on their own. But the thing I like about this is it is reusable and recyclable. They have really tried to lower their plastic waste. But let's take a look and see what we've got in our toolkit. We have a pen and squishy. Look at it, matches the bedspread. That's pretty handy. Um, typically, these will match, but what you get might not be the same as what is in this particular one, but squishy goes on the pen. You will also receive a tray with tray stopper. Now, I don't typically use the tray stopper, but you just put it in this side here. You can put it right side up, upside down, whichever way works the best for you. I don't typically use them, but you can use them if you like. You will also receive a little caddy here with two heart-shaped pink waxes. Now, if you're going to be using the pink wax, please make sure that you peel back the plastic cover that is on it so that you can actually get into it. Or I can't get into it because there we go. <laughs> Just make sure you peel back the plastic or you're not going to get into that wax. Two waxes. We have, because we love them, some plastic baggies. You can use these to kit up if that's how you kit up. Otherwise, kitting down. You can use these to save your excess diamonds after you're finished with your piece. I forgot to mention that every tool kit will come with a four and a seven placer with the pen. Multi-placers if you want to multi-place on your particular canvas. You will receive also in each squares kit a pair of murder tweezers. These guys are serious tweezers. Very, very sharp. You could take your eye out, your significant other's eye out. You could, you could take out the post guy's eye out if you really wanted to. But that's why we like to keep the cover on these guys. They're really sharp. And then optional things that my understanding is they will be phasing out eventually is a very sweet and cute cover minder. The reason that they are phasing these out is they are moving to the perforated plastic sheeting on all of their canvases and so the cover minder is not really necessary. Along with, oh my gosh, it matches. That is so cute. We have a washi tape. Now I really love this washi tape. I believe that they will also be phasing out the washi tape, but I don't have confirmation totally on that. They said they're updating our kits, so we will see what happens with the toolkit. But that is your toolkit contents. We'll move that aside. 
let's get into this beautiful plastic sounds for you. I hope that everyone has enjoyed so far what is the start of your weekend. There were some really fantastic releases from Diamond Art Club this weekend that I, of course, had to get myself into. All right, we've got diamonds and our sheet. Let's talk about these first. You will receive, with every one of your Diamond Art Club purchases, a thank you for your purchase, along with some information about the CEO, Angie. You will get inside. It will tell you what is included in your kit, along with some tips and tricks, a VIP information for the Facebook group. Anyone who makes a purchase with Diamond Art Club can be part of the VIP Facebook group, and it would behoove you to do so as there are special discounts that are found on the VIP group. You can also get a step-by-step -step video for instructions on how to diamond paint. Pretty handy. Or, if you don't read English, other languages, always handy. And then on the back here, you can also see that there is a code for your next purchase, thank you, 10. However, if it is your first purchase and you are purchasing on the app, where did it go? If you're purchasing on the app, you can take 20% off your first purchase through the app. Now, some of these codes will only work one time. However, please use some sort of a discount. You should never pay the sticker price on any diamond painting. Diamond Art Club doesn't want you to, neither do I. The other thing we have here is a, a little tiny bit mangled, but it's probably my fault, who knows, of a larger sticker that has information about the kit inside. You can use this for a journal, putting a start and end date. It gives the name of the piece of art and down here, and it credits the artist. That's very important. Diamond Art Club is a licensed diamond painting company. They always credit their artists. It gives you information about the shape of your diamonds, these are squares, the size of your canvas, which is 60 by 78 centimeters, and a skew, should you need to look this up later. Now, this here is your sticker sheet, which has all of the stickers that you will need to place on your storage units, even if that's the baggies, you can put these right on there. Now, taking a little tour of this, any numbers that you see before the number 150, not to include 150, are special diamonds. AB diamonds to be specific. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. Those are the very shiny, luscious, and beautiful diamonds that make all the diamonds around them sparkle. We looks like we have three AB diamonds that are going to come with this kit. And as you go down and along, you see that we have 42 colors. Now, here's a few that have some different letters. The L in front of a number signifies their electro diamonds. Those are the ones that look like rhinestones. They're gorgeous, beautiful. And then anything with a Z or Z in front of it is a fairy dust diamond. Now, those are the ones that have glitter encased in them. We'll go more into those diamonds in just a moment. I will... Hmm, do we want to do canvas first or do we want to do diamonds first? I'll tell you what, I will roll out the canvas. We will look at the diamonds while the canvas is on the bed. How about that? Now, What's really great about these here canvases is that all of them are soft, luscious fabric. I believe it is called, I don't want to, I don't want to murder it. I believe it's tarpaulin, but tarpaulin fabric. All of them are scalloped along the edge and poked so that you're not going to run into any sort of fraying. Uh, this particular canvas also arrived with a perforated plastic. Now the perforated plastic is so that if you should choose to section off your diamond painting, which you should, there are small perforations. Let me see if I can get it into the, aha, there it is, that you can tear along the perforation so that you can section off your plastic if you choose to do so. Now, the other lovely thing about these guys is that they have what's called lay flat technology, but that means you can lay it out under something heavy and it will flatten out on its own. However, I am just really lazy and impatient and I'm going to do a little trick and roll it backwards. Now I'm going to also not look at the piece while I'm doing this and struggle while I'm trying to get it rolled out. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'm going to roll it backwards because that should allow it to lay flatter when I put it down for you. We're in a not, oh, we almost got a sneak peek. A sneak peek of the early look here. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. 
Let me make sure I have it the right way up, though. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Now, I will be including for you a overhead shot so you can see all of this beautiful masterpiece. I'll pop that on the screen for you so that you can take a look. Wow. That, I am in love with the colors. I am a little bit crazy about the subject matter. Um, you can see in your picture there that there's a really lovely planet in the bottom. The moon eater is eating the moon. So beautiful. Now, I want to get into the diamonds. For warning, I'm going to be making a little bit of crinkly plastic sound. So, sorry if you don't like that. So, I ended up purchasing some things for the weekend because, well, that's what I like to do. There were some really good picks this weekend. So, including a Margaret Morales. I got one that's just all by itself. That doesn't happen very often. So, let's go through what we have here. Now, the way that Diamond Art Club puts their puts their kits together, their, their diamonds, uh, is that they go by weight. So, some other companies, they go from, you know, one letter to A to Z, or they go numbers one through 28 or whatever. Um, Diamond Art Club actually weighs their bags so that you get 20% extra diamonds in each one of your baggies so that you should not run out. Um, so I will start with this first one here, 3847, a very beautiful, beautiful emerald kind of green. Also decided to shed a little light on the subject because I want to make sure that you could see what we're looking at here. We've got 3848, the next one up, 801, 801, two of those, 3808. Oh, I love that teal color. Oh, man, that light's not doing us any, any favors, is it? Hmm, let me, let me try something else. All right, let's try this. We've got 3808. You can see that that is a really nice... Just, oh, teal, dark teal, 3808 is two of them. 823, we've got one, two, three, four, five, five of those. 939, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. Now, what you're seeing in the background here looks like a lot of black. It is not black. It is actually a really dark blue, which is what 939 is. Um... Just a really dark blue color. Even though it reads black, it is not. Next one we have is... Struggling. Alright, here we go. We've got a little baggie of 841, 3782, 955, 310. Just a tiny bag of 310 are black. 921, 741, 740. 926. 30, 46, 844, 993, and you see they've put lines underneath the nines, so we know they're nines and not sixes, because sometimes when you flip a number over, it looks like the, uh, it looks like another number. 610, 30, 45, 898, 3809, with something in the bag, I don't know what that is, uh, 312, 3768, oh, here's our first AB diamond, do you see how that just it gives a really beautiful shimmer on it. It's really going to bring out the colors and the diamonds around it. 742. And actually, let me go back to this one. I will be putting up on the screen for you a tray that's going to have those Aurora Borealis diamonds in it. 141. And you can see how it sparkles and shines. Next is 742. And Z. 739 or Z739. This is one of our fairy dust diamonds. And again, you're going to see that on the screen. It is a very pale yellow. That glitter that is encased inside of the diamond, it's not going to get on you, your face, in your mouth, in your eyes. You're not going to look like you were out partying for the night. It is inside of the diamond. All right, next we've got... 803, a blue, 992, another AB. This is a just buttery yellow. We love it. We love it. It sparkles. Next one, 
is Z743 or Z743. Again, another fairy dust diamond. We love those. 3770, 3750, 3799. We've got two of those. Here is another Aurora Borealis diamond, AB diamond. It is a brown color. It's more like a dark gold, I suppose, but it can read brown with the little shimmeries on the top. Next one is 434, 435, 336. And we've got one, two, three, four of those. And oh, here's our Electro Diamond. And you can see that it is going to bring out some beauty in this piece. I have a feeling I know where that goes. Next diamond is 433, 437, 738, and 3834. And that is all of our colors. Now, if we're looking at our piece here, let's talk about where some of these special diamonds are going to go. So I'm going to bring you down here and we're going to take a closer look at our canvas. Now, as we're looking, I see, okay, so we are looking for one, two, a white dot. So I see this white dot that's going to be, oops, sorry, a AB diamond. I see, let's see here, a, we've got ones all through the moon here, which doesn't surprise me. That's that golden color. Um, so I saw my friend Kara, the principal painter, do this, and I would like to do the same and show you that first number one that we're seeing here in the moon is that sort of brown, goldish colored AB. We've got that in the moon, all the way around the moon here. And it looks like it's also going to be in parts of his hair, sort of bordering his hair. That's the number one. The number two, the number two we have, it is this very buttery yellow. And that's sort of down here in the in the base, the cusp of the moon down here is this buttery yellow. Very, very prevalent down there. And then uh, also in the planet down here is this buttery yellow and more of this darker brown color, golden AB that is also sprinkled throughout this planet here. Now, number three, the white, the white Aurora Borealis. That is everywhere that you see the white in the moon. So up along in here, those squiggle lines that are throughout the moon and then dotted throughout the top of the moon, just up there. We also have our Electro Diamond, which is the letter C. The letter C is sprinkled with the two down here in this Saturn, it looks like to me. Um, mostly, it looks like it's going to also be at the base of the moon here. They're really going to bring attention to that part of the moon, the bottom scoop. And then C and P, again, are down here in the Saturn planet, along with in the base of the moon. They're really loading a lot of the specialty diamonds kind of in one place. And then the letter P is the same. So our fairy dust diamonds are almost neutral shades, a butter yellow, and then a neutral kind of shade of um, tan for a fairy dust diamond. Now that's probably not one that you see very often, a tan colored fairy dust diamond, but it I think will give exactly the dimension that this needs. So that electro diamond, all all of all of the specialty diamonds you're gonna see down in this area. The the one or the white dot or the white excuse me, the white square with the black dot in the border inside of the border is gonna be those white squiggles that you see, along with some dotting 
along the insides of the moon there. I absolutely love this piece. I see some specialty diamonds also that are going to be along his eyes and eyebrows. And again, in the in the swishes of his hair, it's going to really bring that to life. And then in the halo that is surrounding this side over here, the halo that surrounds this side over here is going to have some more of those uh, bronze-ish colored ABs in it. This is going to be a stunning piece when it's finished. And this could be a female figure, I suppose. We can't really see what exactly. I mean, short hair doesn't necessarily mean male. And you can't see, uh, you know, lady bags, <laughs> whatever you'd like to call them, because it's hidden behind the Saturn. So this could be a feminine figure. We, we're not really sure. So we can go with a they for this one. They are just stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. And I... I really love this piece. I'm going to get these out of your way so you can take one final look. And I'm going to give you a really nice pan over this piece with the camera. guys thank you so much for enjoying this beautiful piece from diamond art club with me if you enjoyed this video please leave a like if you would like to a comment if you care to and a subscribe if you're feeling so inclined um thank you as ever and i hope that wherever you are in this great big beautiful world it is a wonderful morning evening or afternoon hope to see you again bye bye